I finished it. I made it turn a few times, making sure that it worked. And then I disassembled it and threw it in my van and drove to Burning Man. Alex, what up? Hey, man. How you doing, Luke? Great to see you. Great to see you. It's been a while. Yes, indeed. Great. Last time I saw you was in L.A. So. Oh, man. Yeah, we're a long way from L.A. now. We're in the south of France. Beautiful country. Yeah, yeah. Alex Andre Teveno, a French and American artist whose work constantly evolves to convey deeper levels of connectivity between our environment and our true nature. He is responsible for the Metamorphosis Project, which I've had the honor to be a part of and experience. Tell us about the Metamorphosis Project. Okay. Well, it's an idea that came to be from a grant from BRAF, the Black Rock Art Foundation. I was, you know, engaged to make a version of this to be exposed on the playa. So you were out on the playa. Yeah, it was an interesting process because at first I designed the idea around a see-through mirror and LEDs flashing on both sides back and forth. I remember still the period where that wasn't in existence and I was thinking, man, if that really works, that means we blend completely together. And I did a small little prototype with a glued up mirror um, on a piece of acrylic that I cut up. It was working and it was pretty freaky and, and incredible. So from that, I had a month and a half to basically make a pretty big size version of that small prototype. And I cranked like day and night. The first time it was really exposed and working, it was just such such an intense experience for me and the participants. Yeah. It was a, a success. Uh, people loved it. and It was really great. The first time I ever experienced the Metamorphosis Project was in Venice, I think. Venice yeah. Beach. It was in LA, I remember. Yeah. It blew my mind. Very simple, but very profound. And it has a lot of implications with connecting our environment and our true nature. Yeah, in Venice, that's where we used to be and exhibited. Yes. Um, we, we did a lot of uh, exhibits on the west coast of California. We went quite a bit to San Francisco to show it. A couple of times we were funded by the Exploratorium and brought it up there. We brought it to the Academy of Science. I did a TEDx in Marin County, San Francisco area. Now there's one uh, in the container coming to Europe. That's so cool. And I'm sure you'll be back at Burning Man when they get that back up and running, right? What happened in 2009, so I brought it, I put it up on Tuesday. It ran Wednesday and I go back on Thursday to the location and it's gone. It just disappeared. It's just no longer there. And I'm like, this is where it should be, and it's not there. <laughs> so what happened? And they told me that they took it out of the playa because somebody broke the handle, and it, somebody jabbed their thumbs and kind of like had to be rushed to the Reno hospital. <laughs> oh, they got their finger caught in it? Not caught, yeah, caught, like not chopped, but caught, <laughs> you know, like really, you know, pretty, wow. it definitely has been evolved uh, on every level, including the safety features for sure there's mirrors on each side and then it's right. a big hand blade type thing and and someone right. cranks it and it used to be manual cranked and and you'd crank it to make it spin and the weight of the wheel made it sort of turn for a while it looked like a permanent momentum sort of thing what happens is um, the lag the empty space just almost like adds something in between which is called a perception of motion it strobe lights it kind of right it just melts. Yeah, yeah like a strobe light effect of the visual perception of you and the person on the other side like a meeting of the minds happens when two people are on each side of it right where they they meld what's your interpretation of when that happens you sort of melt into the other person so you and the person on the opposite side become one person and that's a very powerful thing because it makes you step out of your sense of self basically which is what a lot of the psychedelics and the etheogens allow you to do is to kind of step out of yourself and and move away from your ego and and your perception of self it's a profound experience in the sense that yeah you're kind of losing yourself you're with another person experience something in real time which is 
really unification, what our soul longs for or what our soul maybe was before we were in a, into a body. It's very interesting to observe two people doing it because there's a, a wide spectrum of interpretation, experience, of also feelings. Some people, when they start doing it, they, they feel afraid. Yeah, all these are a lot in line with how you experience certain psychedelics. You could experience fear, yeah. loss of control, loss of self. The thing that comes up often is that sense of we became one. A lot of people say, wow, we became one. I mean, that which is beautiful because it's really the intention behind that creation. It's almost a cry of the soul for wanting to be unified with all sentient beings. You know, underneath all our layers of color, of age, of skin... We're the same people. That experience reminds us of, of that. So, yeah. That's beautiful. That oneness experience is what people are after. They want to feel connected, loved by the universe, one with everybody. They want to feel inclusive. Psychedelics mixed with the Metamorphosis Project is even more profound. You have a unitary experience of oneness without you know, the ego. I'm sure it gets more profound the longer you stay on it too, right? Because then you kind of trance out, you're melding. Right, right. You could really, I mean, and I have some videos of participants who do it for a while and then they kind of get lost in the, the experience and it's a beautiful thing. I, I also say the portal because it's portal. kind of like a portal. Yeah, the portal to somebody else's soul. Ah. One time we did a, a, a decomp in San Francisco and these, this couple was sitting down doing it and it was probably about 30 minutes yeah for there for a long time um but basically created a drug <laughs> yeah but but without you know you you save uh <laughs> you save a little money <laughs> by just by doing the metamorphosis portal um you could do you know sober or clear or or with the psychedelics it works well uh, either way if you have a chance if you're listening to this Go experience the Metamorphosis Project with Alex Andre. It's a unification oneness experience you don't want to miss. Is being a parent anything like the Metamorphosis Project, where you are seeing yourself in another? Like, are there any parallels between that, maybe? Being a parent is definitely it's got some parallels with the Metamorphosis Portal in the sense that your kid is a mirror representation of yourself and you see it daily. Some traits that your kids have, you might not be aware of. But then when you kind of tone down your ego, you realize that that's actually me. It's like you almost don't want to hear it because you don't want to hear that side of yourself. Your kids are definitely a walking mirror of yourself. Absolutely. There's a lot of, of parallels to to the uh, experience of, of blending physical features and, and that for sure. When I was exhibiting the piece and the Venice Art Walk a few years ago, somebody approached me from a hospital uh, wanting to rent one for their patients. This guy had a cancer treatment for terminal cancer in La Jolla in California, and mm -hmm. he wanted one of the portals for his patients. And that started um, opening up new possibilities for the peace uh, in the healing world. There's a mix of response, which is very interesting. And it's almost like the portal becomes almost like a ego gauge. Just that sounds like an egotistic thing to say, thing to say but uh, it's like an ego gauger because the people's response make you realize how attached they are to their ego. Let's say I bring a participant and another, hey guys, try this out align your eyes together and they do it and instantly they're like oh i don't like that uh it's freaking me out or they don't want to do it that's almost like a gauger of like they're not ready to have that experience or they're not ready to cross that threshold or to deal with themselves in that way or to step out of themselves mm -hmm. so i've i have experienced that with of just observing the participants in that matter and being like oh interesting that it does have also that effect of a fear of people not wanting to do it necessarily. It does. I yeah. remember. I remember having that uh, when it gets to a certain place where you're tr in a trance and it's melting. Yeah. You're like, yeah. oh, wait a second, and then you pull out of it. The first time I tried the prototype with my wife, I had the same reaction. I had the same sort of. It happened, and it was kind of a freaky experience that I was like. I don't, it felt a little uncomfortable. Your mind sees it and you're not ready for that 
sort of thing necessarily, you know, unless somebody really prepped you and say, this is what's going to happen. Be careful. But, it's like yeah. a little mini ego death, a little mini yeah. ego rest for a second, right? right. And yeah. when you take the curtain off, we're all God. We're all one actor, God, playing different characters. And some of these things help us take the curtain off. And the yeah. Metamorphosis Project is one of those things. Cool. So thank you for making it and coming up with it. That is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I'm so um, grateful that that came through me, that idea came through me, and that I was able to present it to the world. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a, a true gift for everyone on the planet. I can't wait yeah. to do it again. I might have to fly to France. Uh, or in Venice, uh, or France, I mean, or Europe. Blending with your parents, the portal kind of becomes a time machine because you're seeing yourself through the eyes of your father as what you're going to look like in the future. And your father sees himself as what he used to look like, you know, 20 or 30 years behind. So that's a really cool thing. That happened when I observed a mother and her daughter do it together. The mom was like, wow, I look so young. I look, you know, and then the daughter was like, ah, <laughs> she was like, Ooh. <laughs> I can see how that would be really good for healing because a lot of things in our past comes from our parents. So yep. I'm sure there's a lot of past, not, I don't want to say traumas, but just things that we haven't integrated yet. And this right. might be a healing catalyst for that possibly yeah yeah absolutely that's um that's a, also a very profound thing to do with your siblings hopefully you'll be in every city on the globe you know at some point with your installation and uh everyone can experience this and get the healing so good to connect with you i miss you and uh glad you're doing well you and your amazing wife in france right now if you hear the metamorphosis project coming to your city do not hesitate to go do it because it's amazing. Take your family members, get the healing. <laughs> yep. Alex, for coming on the show. Appreciate you, brother. Sounds good. Love you. And um, yeah. we'll talk to you really soon. Okay, sounds good. Have a good one. Bye. Salute. Bye.